Welcome back to African Air Ordinance. Uganda today, just got a new delivery, or should I say a fresh delivery, from pelicans.com. Before I start, please guys, don't forget to like and subscribe as it helps grow the channel. All right, let's get cutting. Okay, so let's get to this, the big hump. So this is just ammo. Um, what type of ammo? Let's have a look. I'll say they do package. They do package pack everything very very well. All right. Got some thirty cal pellets. Hmm. I wonder what gun this could be for. Well, let's have a look. Let me just put this aside first. Up away from here. Alright guys. Oh, looks like I see something. Here. It's December, so it's like Christmas time. Oh boy. And I see a name. Let's have a look. The gauntlet in 30 cal. I'll turn this around for you guys. Just a sec. Okay. There you go. That's how she comes. The gauntlet in 30 cal. Let's see how this box opens. space in the right way. Alright, I think the next thing is to get it out of the box and let's see what actually comes in the box. Right. So now I've laid out the rifle out of the box. Let's have a look what comes with the rifle. First of all we've got our instructions, spare o-ring seals. I assume that these are probably for the seal on the bolt. There are two magazines. These are seven shot mags. There's also a single shot tray. And then an Allen key for adjusting your cheek piece, which is adjustable. The Gauntlet 30 cal is a bolt action rifle. So you have to yank back on the bolt. Alright. It has a 380 or 390 cc 4500 psi full bottle. It is regulated to 2800 psi. The barrel is around about 28 inches long. So, or close to 700 centimeters. It's a very, very, very long rifle. So, guys, pretty neat. All right, so the quick disconnect for, it's just a standard universal quick disconnect. It's just simply right there, okay? And it has a little plastic nipple cover. And the pressure gauge is right over here. So this is a 4500 PSI fill. Which is awesome. I love 45. A lot of people complain about it. I personally like 4500 PS, huh? Just gives you a lot more shots. And the other thing that's key to know about 4500 PS, if you can only follow 4000 PS, or even uh, 3000 PS, it doesn't matter. You have all that extra room to work with. So, pretty solidly built rifle. The shroud does not really suppress any of the, the, the sound from when you fire the gun. So it has a half UNF thread over here for your favorite Donny FL or whatever suppressor you're using with that thread uh, pitch on it. Um, it is quite a heavy rifle, but uh, I must say I do like the kind of military look. It kind of gives it almost like a sniper rifle type look to it. This is the safety for the trigger, it's right here. So if you need to put it on safe, just flip it over and then when you need to put it back, you just flip it back. One thing, this regulator is not adjustable, although I do believe you can get adjustable regulators in this format that come out of the paintball industry. So that's something I might look into so that we can, you know, we can maybe lower the, the full pressure. If you want to kind of shoot in your backyard, not the full pressure, the plenum pressure. If you kind of want to shoot in your backyard or maybe even increase it to get even more power. Also, I do like the very large cocking handle. It really is, it's going to be able to give you, especially, it's quite hard to cock this rifle. And whenever you're going to load the mag and you just lock it into the second notch there, 
And then obviously when you're ready to board, just like a regular bolt action rifle, it's pretty neat. Also the cheek riser here is adjustable, it comes up. So that's very neat, especially if you're using high scope mounts and stuff like that. So very, very cool setup. All right, overall the build quality in the rifle is pretty nice. It's not too many rough edges, especially that this is not a high-end rifle. This is really a platform that's built for hunting. Although, you know, I've seen people doing bench works with these rifles and getting good results. So I think the next thing is just to put a scope on it. I'll take it out to the range and we'll see how she shoots. All right, guys, we're back at the range with the Umex Gauntlet. Pretty large rifle. I've got it topped with a Valiant 6 24 by 50 scope. And also the suppressor on the muzzle end is just the suppressor we make here at African Air Ordnance. So, first suppressions, <laughs> very long rifle. But uh, enough about that. Let's, we've got two pellets. We've got a JSP pellet and 44 plus grains and also a uh, H&M Barracuda. Uh, Barracuda, H&M Barracudas in uh, 46.30 grains. Let's see how those shoot. Alright, gotta say it's pretty freaking awesome. I want the 30 kill, man. Pure power. Alright, let's see the JSB 44.75 grain. Do. I've loaded up. Right, not too bad, we had a couple of flies, but uh, not as good as those barracudas. Alright guys, there you have the results, of, well the first results for the Umarex Gauntlet uh, at 30 cal. I must say, I'm very impressed with those numbers, and especially the consistency of the, of the setup, very very consistent. Uh, stay tuned, in, in the next episode we'll try a different JSP pellet, maybe get in some slugs, see how those go. Uh, again, guys, I must say, a couple things with the rifle, the, the cocking is quite hard compared to when you, you used to with you know, other guns where it's very, very smooth. But this is not, the, the most, this is not really a super high-end air rifle. This is purpose-built for hunting. I do see guys doing bench press with it, but really it is, a, it is more a rifle for hunting and it's built like that. It's very, very long, especially with a suppressor. But, you know, again, if you just going out hunting in a, in a big open area, you don't always need a suppressor. But, again, just goes to show you it works with a suppressor, and I must say the groups were pretty pretty good, especially with the, um, the Barracudas. They were very tight compared, you know, JSPs were 
quite a bit bigger. It just obviously doesn't like those pellets. Guys, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great day.